You do not need a cutter or donut shaper to make this super easy, fluffy and soft melt in your mouth donuts. Keep watching ahead and trust me, you do not need bread flour or a mixer either. Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Claudie from cookingwithclaudie.com. Welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making the best ever no fill homemade donuts. These are so easy to make, they are light, fluffy, you do not need a donut shaper, cutter. So if you're new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So let us jump right into the ingredients. In a bowl, you want to start by adding warm milk. Your milk is supposed to be warm to touch. Now bring in some sugar. For the sugar, you want to bring it at the same time with the yeast because the sugar is going to activate the yeast quickly. Now you want to give that a good stir. The yeast I'm using is the instant yeast. You can also use active dry yeast. That's going to work perfectly well. Now I'll add in my two large eggs at room temperature. My butter. That's melted butter some vanilla extracts and you're gonna whisk until well combined i'll now bring the all-purpose flour some salt to taste go ahead and mix that until a perfect dough is formed Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. When my dough is formed and I see that it is less sticky, I will now use my hands to knead that perfectly so I'm going to know the texture easily. So you want to knead that until it becomes tacky and sticky, okay, like slightly sticky, not 100% sticky. So you have to keep kneading until you receive that consistency or that texture. You see how slightly sticky that is? That is how sticky and tacky you want yours to be. So after perfectly mixing, mixing that, you want to go ahead and grease a bowl, then transfer the dough inside the bowl because you do not want your dough to dry off in the surface or at the bottom of it so transfer that into a greased bowl also you want to grease the top of the dough as well cover and let it rise for at least an hour 30 minutes while that is rising i will use a parchment paper and cut them at least let me say five five by five inches african asian american and worldwide recipes pastries and African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bake. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy, ego yummy yummy. Easy to follow from kids to adults. After an hour, uh, thirty minutes. This is how your dough is looking. You want to press that down to release some gas or air bubbles. Now transfer onto your working surface and divide into about 12 to 16 portions. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Form each dough into a golf size. Make sure you smoothen that as well. You can use your working surface to smoothen the dough as well. 
when it's perfectly looking transfer onto a parchment paper and you want to press that gently then use a piping nozzle for the piping nozzle you want to dip that in flour to avoid it from sticking to the dough now place it in the center and cut through to form a hole this is how easy the process is if you have a donut cutter all you need to do is to just flatten out the dough about one inch then you will use a cutter to cut evenly as many donuts as you can now we have our donuts you want to go ahead and cover that for another 30 minutes to 45 minutes now in a pot of oil my oil is not very hot at this point your oil should be at least let me say two to three inches deep now you want to fry that until you have a golden brown color on both sides approximately two minutes each side Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes, easy to follow. You can also serve yours as it is, or you can drench into granulated sugar. This is looking so good see how soft that is light fluffy you name it so guys don't forget to check the description box for the detailed recipe okay and trust me for the recipe on the website you can easily adjust it to grams you just need to punch um from the u.s customary to the metric so as soon as you punch the metric it goes to grams okay but likewise if you have any questions just let me know and i'm gonna reply asap until we meet again bye for now and stay safe